Hi everyone, this is Asika, back with a new video. This is an NPN pulse output anemometer sensor. The anemometer sensor is a device used for measuring wind speed and direction. It is also a common weather station instrument. This is a digital anemometer sensor that has the NPN pulse output. The NPN pulse output anemometer result is good and is also cost effective. The best part is it operates only at 5 volt supply. Alright, in this tutorial, we will learn how we can interface this anemometer sensor with an Arduino board and 0.96 inch OLED display. The OLED display will display the wind speed in meters per second and can measure wind speed in the range of 0 to 70 meters per second. So, without any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of PCBWay.com because PCBWay is a one-step solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, assembly stencils, PCB assembly, 3D printing etc. Welcome back again. The NPN pulse output anemometer sensor is a 3 cup type anemometer. That is capable of measuring wind speed up to 70 meter per second or 156 amperes. It is composed of a cell, the wind cup and the circuit module. After testing many types of anemometers, we found out this NPN pulse output anemometer quality is based as well as cost effective. Unlike the analog output version anemometer, this anemometer output pulse reflects the wind speed more accurately. Besides, this anemometer is totally waterproof with a suitable installation design and suitable for outdoor applications. It operates between 5V to 30V DC. The output is pulse type with a resolution of 0.075 m per second. In walking, if the anemometer turns one round in one second, the transmitter will output 20 pulses, which means the wind speed is 1.75 m per second. Similarly, in 4.5 rotation, the transmitter will output 90 pulses. This means the wind speed is 7.87 meter per second. The anemometer sensor has four wires. The brown is the BCC pin, which can estimate 5 volt to 30 volt input. The black is the GND pin. Blue is the NPNR output pin, and the green is the PNP output pin. We won't use the green wire in this project. Alright, let's move to the practical part. This is the Arduino Nano board. We will use this microcontroller in this project to read wind speed and in order to display the wind speed, we will use a I2C OLED display. I2C will help in reducing the number of wires. This is the circuit diagram for this project. The LCD in both anemometer sensors are powered through a 5V pin of Arduino. The output pin of the anemometer is connected to the D2 pin of Arduino. Similarly, the LCD is connected to the I2C pins of Arduino. I used a breadboard to assemble the circuit. The Arduino board, OLED display unit and the anemometer sensor, all of them are connected to each other as per the circuit diagram. I powered the Arduino board using the ESP power from the power bank. You may use any 5V DC adapter. Here is the code for the project. First, we need a OLED display library. For that, you need to install Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD1306 library from the library manager. Then, we define OLED width, height, I2C pins and reset pin to initialize the OLED display. Then, we define some variables for time calculation. The interrupt pin is defined as digital pin 2 of the Arduino which we have connected earlier. Here, we initialize the count at 0. Under the onCharge function, we are calculating the pulse based on interrupt. In the setup section, we initialize serial begin, then pin mode is an interrupt pin. Then, we enable the interrupt. This will initialize OLED and its operations. In the loop section, we are calculating the wind speed on the basis of pulse output. First, the wind speed is displayed on the serial monitor, then we display the wind speed on our 0.96 inch OLED display. Now, from the tools menu, select Arduino Nano Board, then select the COM port. Now, you can upload the code. After uploading the code and powering up the entire device, the LCD will display the wind speed 0.00 meter per second. This is because the cuffs are not moving and there is no rotation. 
The wind speed will change as the cup of the anemometer starts moving. I am currently testing indoors, therefore I am rotating it using my hand. As the cup spins faster, the more is the wind speed. I am measuring the speed as a meter per second, but you can change the unit to miles per hour. Now I place the entire unit on the roof of my house and currently the cups are moving. The wind speed shown here is between 0 to 2 meters per second. You can fix this anemometer during windy days. Alright, that's all for today's project. The complete project details including device information, purchase link source code and written guide can be found in the IoT Projects website article. In case, if you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.